If you're watching, welcome back again to the second episode of Power by Zero X. So we get to explore features of the ecosystem and interview developers who are building innovative projects on the Zero X tech stack. So whether you're building financial tools, um, integrating swaps into your application, or simply looking to better understand the Xerox protocol, API, and governance structure, well, the Xerox powered by Xerox live stream has something for you. So the way that this show works is we start off with uh, some announcements, and then I'm going to dive into uh, a really interesting interview today uh, with our special guest, Zhao, from DexKit. Dex um, and after that, so whether you're watching on YouTube or Twitter, uh, we're going to open it up to a live Q&A. So whichever platform you're on, uh, please ask your questions. Just type your questions um, into your chat, uh, and then we can ask those uh, live to our guests. So to get, get us started off, uh, hopefully my connection is uh, still holding. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to. Uh, I'm excited to share three pieces of exciting news um, news with you all today. Audio is decent. Okay. Um, so first off, if you follow us on Twitter, uh, you've probably already seen that Coinbase has announced that their NFT marketplace is powered by So where they chose to partner with us for their uh, NFT social media platform. Um, so there's a lot of different options that they have chosen, uh, but Xerox V4 um, was was chosen due to the protocol's functionality, its gas optimization, and just our, our track record. So excited about that. Um, and so this enabled to provide, uh, provide NFTs uh, to, to users to easily discover, buy, and sell, and connect around those. Um, and my second uh, piece of news that I want to share with you all is that uh, Xerox Labs today actually just announced that uh, we have raised our um, and $70 million led by Greylock Venture Catalyst. Um, so this group is uh, just a really esteemed group um, that has many of um, like well-known projects um, and supported them through that. And we are excited um, to, to have had their support along with many other partners and continue building out uh, the Web3 core exchange and infrastructure. And you know, we couldn't have this opportunity without um, a huge, huge thanks uh, to all our Xerox integrators, um, our Xerox, ZRX token holders, and just supporters such as yourself uh, who follow along the project. Um, it's, yeah, it really means a lot to us. And uh, we look forward to using this series of funding uh, to continue supporting uh, more projects, um, including the ones that you'll hear about on this show. Um, and lastly, just want to share an uh, interesting bit of news is coming out of our data team. So this uh, blog post that was released, I think, earlier this week, um, where our data team did some research on uh, slippage. So for those of you who aren't familiar with that term, um, that just means that when you're, say, using um, a DEX product to trade, you might find that the price that you receive in your wallet is um, different from the one that you're quoted. So that difference um, is called slippage. This, this uh, the report sheds some light on some interesting patterns um, that perhaps this sort of slippage isn't random at all. Um, and there's ways that uh, we at Xerox are looking to offer a different settlement method, something called RFQ, so request for quotes, um, that can perhaps help users and protect them from um, this sort of uh, something called MEV, so uh, minimal or minor subtractable uh, value-induced slippage. So take a look at those, um, that blog post, um, and as well as uh, news about the other two uh, pieces can be found at our blog. So take a look at blogs.xerox.org. All right, so with that announcement, uh, those couple pieces of announcements out of the way, um, let's definitely dive into our interview uh, with Zhao today. So. Uh, let me just give him a quick introduction, but I'm sure he'll um, expound on uh, who he is some more. So Zhao is the head developer um, at a project called DexKit. Um, so this is a project that, well, one, he's also a very active member um, in the Xerox community, um, very um, eager to share, share his learnings, and then also this project that he's 
Um, he's leading and creating focus on three main vectors. So a white label solution for aggregators and NFT marketplaces, um, a wallet and prediction games. So it's quite a spread um, of uh, interesting topics that um, he's working on. And I think we're really excited to hear how he is uh, building all these solutions um, in this space. So with that introduction, uh, let me bring him up. Hi, hey, Jessica. Hey, how's it going? Cool. Um, so how about, would you like to give a quick introduction uh, of yourself and maybe how, how you ended up um, in, this, in this field and in this project? So uh, first of all, thank you, Jessica and Zero X Project for inviting me to uh, talk about uh, the, the XKit project. Uh, and I would like as well, congrats the Zero X Project with the recent news. So big news for, uh, for our community. Uh, so basically my story backs down like three years ago when I started working with zero X basic technologies and web three web three. So, uh, then uh, I have the idea of creating the Dex kit with the white label solutions. Uh, I have already previous projects where uh, I work at the similar solutions, but, uh, uh, this one that we have on DexKit is uh, an advanced one that we use white labels. So I'm currently now as well a delegate of Zero X community. I was uh, active uh, several ways. We recently received as well a grant from Zero X DAO community to build a next advanced white label solution that will be open source for all the community. So basically, it's that I am a Web3 developer building over three years already on the space using Zero X tools. Oh, well, so uh, been a long, been a long time, um, and yeah, more, more projects come. Um, so yeah, we'll do, uh, sorry. So let's maybe dive into a little bit into DexKit. Um, so actually, before we talk about DexKit itself, um, maybe could you talk about like what inspired you to build DexKit, maybe like set the stage for, for us to understand um, the intention behind DexKit. So uh, basically, I would co I want to contribute with Web3 space building tools that uh, are really easy for people. Any people, not only developers, uh, deploy their own uh, uh, swap interface or own crypto uh, marketplace. So I have this idea of starting building uh, these these tools to help people. So we started with a WordPress plugin, which every which powers over seven zero percent of all internet. So anyone now that has a WordPress website can deploy uh, the the swap interface. And now we have another solution, which is like uh, one button deploy where uh, you just configure uh, on a wizard, you push, push a button and you just uh, configure the namespace and you are ready to have a, a swap interface uh, deployed. So the idea, it was basically power any people that uh, is able to at least host a website or a power and other developers to be to them easily deploy these tools. So and with this upcoming marketplace, we are also want to power up artists with a really easy way to them sell their NFTs and sell their collections. So this is our main mission is power up all these people that is outside of Web3 because this is for uh, developers, maybe it's easy. But for uh, people that is starting on crypto, onboarding on crypto, it's still really hard. We are like uh, maybe one person people uh, still on crypto. We, there is still lots of people to onboard. So this t these tools will help. Uh, I hopefully these tools will help uh, onboard more people on crypto, and we expand the, the crypto community. Yeah, I think that that like use case almost seems also obvious um but it's like except it's i actually find very projects that are doing like what you what you mentioned you're doing so essentially you know there's this world of web3 most of the people interacting with it now are um 
are pretty technical, and so building uh, what's a swap into their 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 website or um, setting up an NFT marketplace. Um, there's no there's no like low code or no code solutions for that. So what you what you built out, like you're saying, is um, like pluggable pluggable ways that we can um, that you can give this to someone who is a non developer and have them uh, plug it into the website so that they can say have a swap interface or set up a NFT marketplace and then um, essentially earn uh, through through those mechanisms. So yeah, that, um, yeah, I think this like white label uh, opportunity definitely is really good. Um, and it sounds like you have uh, some some fans in the audience there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I guess speaking of the projects, um, yeah, speaking of the audience that you're um, looking to help with these projects, uh, do you have any any projects in mind that you would love to to work with you um, on these white label solutions? Uh, do you have projects that you could talk about now, um, maybe that are, you're working with already? Uh, we have uh, like over 10 projects already uh, working with us and we are open for anyone to work with us. Uh, sometimes there is people that is already using our solutions, but I don't know about because they just go to our GitHub uh, on dexkit uh, WordPress and they just download and install the plugin and uh, it's ready to go. So basically, this is the way to go. It's basically needs to be easier and they don't need to ask anyone to, do, to deploy this solution. So that is the, the final aim is no one needs to ask anyone to use uh, these tools. They just go there, install, and they are ready to go, basically. Nice. Yes. Yeah, nice. Sounds like yeah, in the nature. Um, so yeah, I'd like to actually jump over to uh, the other segment under Dexkit. So uh, the, the prediction game that you've mentioned uh, earlier. So I took a look at the website and learned a little bit about Coin League. Um, but I'd love for you to introduce our audience to, to what is Coin League. So uh, basically, Coin League it was a game that was asked to us build. Uh, from uh, from YouTube BitBoy asked us to build this game and uh, we take the challenge and we built um, uh, the game as a so basically in short is a fantasy league but for uh, crypto coins so basically uh, if you want to learn trading how to trade you can go to coin league create a game a beer or bull game uh, beer, beer games meaning that uh, you are betting that the uh, coins will go down. Bull games, you are betting that the coin will go up. You can uh, choose uh, the time the time, the timeline. If it's one hour, if it's four hours, if it's one e one week. Uh, you basically, you have a pool of coins that you can choose. You can choose if you are betting with two coins, five coins, or one coin. So basically, you are choosing a team. A uh, and uh, based on that, you compete with other players. Uh, this is all decentralized. We are we don't control uh, who can enter or who can win. And all the feeds uh, from uh, this are powered by Chainlink. So it's uh, no one uh, can cheat on this game basically. And it's uh, every part is decentralized, and uh, everyone can play. And uh, this is Coin League, and we have uh, new versions of this game on uh, our platform. We have another one where people can choose uh, a Captain Coin, and uh, that Captain Coin could be powered up with an NFT. And we have uh, as well another incoming games on prediction, uh, which is uh, NFT League, which uh, basically people can battle each one with uh, NFT. And they can bet if that NFT will go up or down on that time span. And uh, uh, at final, we have uh, we are creating the Squid League game, which uh, it's based uh, on the Squid the Squid series from Netflix. So it's the same concept. You basically have six rounds, and you need to pass all the rounds to at the final uh, earn the your prize. So basically, all these games are based on predictions. They are not uh, luck. Uh, luck. Uh, they are not lucky games. They they need people to 
actually study the markets uh, to to win uh, the game. Oh, well, um, yeah, that, that's cool that you guys are expanding beyond just the tokens. Um, like I mentioned to, to NFT League, I actually wanted to ask a couple questions about that and also um, Squid League game. Yeah, the, the idea of like you can essentially have more than, like and essentially the, the prediction game is almost like a, in my mind, like almost like a derivative of the token then. It's like you have an economy around um, analyzing it, like you're mentioning, predicting it, and then be able to, to challenge people and um, yeah, essentially have a secondary market of um, be able to to earn and have have fun through that um, aspect. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, I want to ask about the NFT league you mentioned. So be able to have a fantasy league fantasy league for NFT. So what what traits are are being pitted against each other in this in this game? So uh, how this works? Uh, we have uh, we have it already on final testing this solution. Uh, basically, we have a uh, a coin league champions collection which uh which the base rate is a body and this body is basically a coin for instance we have btc a btc champion we have an interior champion we have a chain link champion and uh, basically on this nft league you are uh, basically creating a game based on the same concept of coin league and you are uh, and that nft they have power uh, in addition to them, uh, when uh, you mint the NFT, we use uh, the chain link VRF to generate uh, attack, defense, and run traits dynamically. And uh, you can use this NFT, choose for, for instance, you have BTC and uh, you want to create a bull, a bull game, and you can choose your BTC NFT and you can uh, bet that the, your BTC NFT will uh, go up. Uh, on a bull run and uh, you choose a multiplier so basically your final score it will be the characteristics from the nft plus your accuracy on uh, be, uh, guessing that the coin will go up or not predicting in this case so that's and the other players can choose their own nft and bet against you and the one that uh, that wins, it will take the bet. It will take the pot, basically. I see. And then, uh, and... Okay. yeah, this is basically what we have uh, right now regarding the gaming stuff. So, and uh, that is uh, to be out in the next weeks. So this is uh, this is already built, but we are testing right now. Well, so then uh, you also have the like, Kitagachi, like gamified NFT. Um, do you see this also playing into the NFT league? Um, yeah, Kitagachi, the main, uh, the main, uh, uh, Kitagachi is an NFT collection that is on Polygon, that is on BSC, and that is on uh, Ethereum. Uh, this is a dynamic uh, collection. Basically, you can uh, you can you mint a basic cat, and then uh, you can uh, customize it uh, all the traits of the cat. So basically, you start with the base cat, and then you can change all the all the appearance of it based on the kit holding that you have. And uh, as similar as the kitagochi, as the gochis. Uh, you can feed your uh, NFT every day to earn power for the Kitagotsu. So the the main goal now, then is to create games based on this, where people feed the Gotsu, where people customize it, and uh, they can battle each other with uh, with their kit. Uh, but uh, people now they can uh, customize all the cat, and uh, we are uh, thinking on. Uh, real cool uh, uh, features from this basically we already thought on maybe if the power is over 1000 on 10000 the kit transforms to a lion and on something like uh, like this we can uh, play with this with this uh, with these things on the nfts the, which people normally is looking for to to gamification so 
the main goal of the Kitagotchi is to gamificate the, the dashboard that we have. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so, yeah, that, that's, that's cool to, to hear that, um, you know, this NFT project, in combination with uh, Kit, which I, I want to dive into later, um, has like a larger story, essentially, that, um, that people can invest into. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's, uh, that's pretty powerful then to, to, to keep the whole ecosystem, um, you know, moving and kind of the different Lego pieces uh, fit, fit together, interestingly. Well, yeah, you, oh, go ahead. Well, <laughs> sorry, I think I there's was, a flag. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was just going to say, you've mentioned uh, Kit a couple of times. So I see that Kit is, it looks like the, from what I understand, like the, the token that is helping power DexKit's uh, business model. Um, so like the native token that kind of finances, finance the project in the beginning and then um, has other use cases uh, for, for the different applications. So one being um, Kitagachi, um, another one being your uh, DSwap aggregator. So maybe you can talk about um, talk about the use cases of Kit, and then uh, we can dive into how it benefits to hold hold this uh, token. Basically, uh, Kitago uh, the X Kit is basically a utility token that powers up uh, all the, what we build uh, on our platform. So uh, you can get uh, when deploy a white label. Uh, all the fees by default will go to DexKit, but if you hold uh, above an amount, uh, that uh, that fees will be routed automatically to the to the people that deploy the white label. So this is a way that uh, that we found that on a decentralized way, without being to in invade so much people, they can just hold the key, the the project, and they help us uh, to to further uh, uh, improve the product. Uh, and this is a way that we found uh, uh, as on our business model. So this is one of the first uh, first uh, utility cases. The other one, uh, we have um, affiliate fees. So people, if they pass their account on our swap interface uh, and they it yields over uh, another uh, 200 kit uh, the fees will be routed to them as well so people can deploy white label people can be an affiliate on using our own system uh, another utility is kit uh, all the revenue a part of the revenue from coin leaks it's used to buy back uh, and burn uh, buy back no buy back and uh, add liquidity on kit on polygon on bsc where is hosted the, the kit and uh, we will be using as well kit for farming on liquidity for uh, voting as well so we have a snapshot page and our aim is improving our white labels as zero x protocol does on their protocol we want to improve our white labels uh, to people then start uh, decided what is the next steps on uh, building so they they can just use the snapshot page and vote issues with kit to guide us what is more important to to develop next uh on this we have a roadmap i, I don't know if we still uh, talk about roadmap uh, later but uh, uh kit will play a really really important on the upcoming products that we are building as well yeah, we definitely uh, will we'll touch on roadmap. Um, so, well, I feel like yeah, Kit covers, well, holding Kit, so, sounds like holding Kit um, allows the user to have uh, both say within the Dex Kit ecosystem, um, from like voting, like you're talking about, to voting on future um, actions, to, you know, earning, 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 being able to earn um, if, if they're using your white label solution. Um, yeah, I guess maybe do you want to jump over to to the roadmap um, portion that you're kind of alluding to? Uh... So uh, basically, 
on our roadmap now we are working on uh, improving the gaming stuff uh, with uh, improved the user interface and uh, another part that we are excited on is on the white label nft marketplace that we are building from ground up uh with with a partnership with uh, with part of, with uh, a grant from zero the zero x dao community uh we had shared a, a video earlier about it uh so basically we want to power uh, the next uh, the artists to use our marketplace we'll be building a good documentation for anyone be able to deploy their own marketplace or then they can just use our uh, wizard solution where uh, it's a premium solution that we'll build on top where you just have a form like you have on uh, wordpress and you can customize and click a button and deploy your own marketplace on the domain you want or uh we plan as well to go a step ahead and uh, deploy plugins on uh, npm store where people can uh, if they want to just use uh, the swap part of the of the nft white label they can just use uh, the nft part of the white label they maybe want to share uh, show only an nft or a, an order so you are basically building from this from the ground up to be to be able to be split it up on small white label solutions to anyone be able to add on their app uh, parts of it so this is uh, as we are building from the ground up it will be real a really good utility for uh, we are planning this to be out on uh, on the next two to three months this nft and uh, the gaming part of the improved the uh, ui it's about to go out uh, on the next weeks so there is a lot of stuff that we are working now that uh, will be getting more utility and uh, to the to the project and hopefully our community will grow and check uh, all these all these upcoming solutions yeah i think as you're, as you're talking about uh, oh can you hear me uh, i was thinking i was saying yeah as you're talking about like looking down the line um and you know building out the project to be more modular i definitely have have more questions about that um but I, I do want to encourage, I guess, take a pause and encourage um, our audience who's watching to, yeah, to post the questions, um, post the questions in the chat, uh, so so that you know we can we can ask uh, you can feel free to ask John your questions, um, you know, as we're as we're approaching the Q and A portion. Um, but I I definitely want to ask you about um, you know the idea of building modularly, uh, like you're talking about, while also building. A white label solution so essentially like what is your do you have to do you have to think about um for the does the framework have to be um positioned any differently um because you're both building essentially a a like template templatized um version for for these um for for like non-devs um versus be able to build out um, a framework that can be split up, um, or are these actually uh, pretty compatible? So maybe you can talk about us, talk, talk, talk to us about um, yeah, the thinking behind setting this up. So basically, uh, what what we are thinking is in, um, building on modules. So each module is, it will be independent and could be deployed independently. Uh, we thought this way because. Uh, as some clients ask me, hey John, uh, can I deploy using NPM because I'm a dev and I want to have uh, more versatile solutions? Or people that uh, don't want to use WordPress, they want to just uh, deploy their own solution on the domain. So basically, we have uh, we are working on uh, catch catch all time all type of clients. Uh, at once so the one that want to use wordpress they just can use our wordpress plugins uh, that we basically we use the npm modules and deploy on uh, on these on these wordpress plugins and we have a, 
the solution that we are using now as well that is a one-time deploy button where uh, we just uh, basically you say what domain you are uh, uh, for instance uh, a test swap and uh, the the system will give you to the user a domain config where we just go to to namespace or something uh, similar where uh, they can put the the domain stuff and uh, in five minutes you have your uh, swap interface deployed or nft marketplace or uh, nft collection uh, deployed in uh, one step basically it's really really five minutes to do all this stuff right now yeah i think we definitely share uh, share the video um yeah. you shared with me earlier like that was easy walk through um of, of how to set set this up um through, through that interface um let's see Do you any so far read comments so to go Talk about, about how how your can you re can you repeat that I was not able to okay. sure uh, so let me turn off my camera for just a quick second so it's asking let's see what I was asking so you can talk about how you can explain expound on how your project is, is using zerox uh, so also dive into your tech stack ah basically on this I'm coming uh... NFT marketplace because it's basically it's the most modern we are building now. Uh, we are using uh, zero X API for the swap codes on RC20, and for the NFT orders we will be using the Trader SDK. So and uh, overall we'll be using Next.js as our framework uh, to artists having the improved SEO on uh, all the collections. So it's the same stack. Uh, if you check that uh, Coinbase NFT is using is as also they are using uh, Nexus uh, even Matcha. If you check, uh, so we are building uh, basically we want to building a, a modern that uh, most of work marketplace are using now. Even OpenSea is using that. So. Uh, when people then check our uh, open source uh, NFT marketplace, they can uh, as well uh, building on top of it and uh, they can uh, get ideas how to develop on zero X stack. So because we basically will have uh, mostly examples that people that need like uh, RC20 to RC20 swaps, R R721 for R721 and rc 22 rc 721 so basically all the all the examples that they need they can just check then our uh, our interface our open source interface that we are building now i believe in two months to three months it's out uh we plan uh, uh to open it and uh, then gather uh, uh i will be uh showing them on the, zero x discord uh, announced that on our twitter so then people can came back and help us building further or they can just be uh users from it and they can check all the stack of zero x on one place well yeah so kind of related i actually want to for, for those who are watching um if you don't mind dropping you know what what you're interested in what brought you to to the talk today so are you interested in um, building 
using Dexkit, uh, the white label solution, um, just understanding their tech stack. Yeah, I'd love to hear uh, who, who's who's in the audience. If uh, yeah, if you're watching live. Mm, okay. Well, yeah, I was wondering if is there anything that we haven't talked about yet today that uh, you want to highlight about about the project? I think uh, uh, only I like the app that we have as well. Uh, so basically on this app, uh, you can uh, also create tokens. There is a wizard to create tokens and create NFTs. So our aim uh, on the on the first, it was to help people uh, starting since the ground to having a... Uh, so if they want to like create a token and sell a token they can just use them all our tools so right now anyone can deploy a uh, basic uh, rc20 token on our app as well app, app dexkit.com uh, they can also analyze tokens on bsc polygon and uh, ethereum get an analytics and uh, we have as well a wallet uh, so it's a standard uh, wallet like metamask on our app where they can swap as well and check uh, analytics so basically dex kit is this is uh, a white label platform where people can deploy their own uh, uh, swap interface and uh, soon to be an nft marketplace they have a wallet where they can uh, check their their portfolio and they have this gaming system gaming uh, part that we are building and improving right now yeah i think that's a very um quite, quite an expansive ecosystem um that you're that you're building up so that's that's really that's really cool to see like all these all these different aspects of DeFi um come together for one kind of umbrella project in this way um maybe can i ask you I'm, i've been curious about the name um like why, why why the name Dexkit? Where did that come from? Uh, Dexkit, it's a uh, basically it's a decentralized kit kits uh, tools. So basically the name it's uh, it's from that. It's a decentralized uh, kits. Uh, on the I mean kits is like uh, it's like one shop solution where you can uh, easily use so that's that's the name for kits so a kit is uh, i like a tool so basically the centralized tools the centralized kits it's uh, it's like uh, it's what the, the name is so i don't know the meaning on english or on portuguese we we associate kits to to tools on shop solutions and something like that yeah, that makes sense. Like in, in English, we have a toolkit or a box. Yes, um, tool, toolkit. Right. Exactly. Cool. That, that name is. Um, let's see. So, how about um, for for those who are watching either live or later on, uh, where where's the best place for viewers to go learn about Dexkit? Basically, the best place right now is to go to our website, dexkit.com. So. It's where uh, our main source for people that uh, uh, want to check the project. Uh, if they want to check the most recent news, we use mostly Twitter, which is uh, Dexkit, uh, the username. That's the one right by by, by his name. So at, yeah. Yeah, definitely, take, uh, definitely follow at Dexkit um, for, yeah, for, their latest, uh, for their latest news. Um, we'll also be sharing some some of the videos uh, that the, some of the videos um, that showcase you know how how to set up the different aspects that we talked about today. So I think having that visual visual um, of how how easy it is really to to use the white label solution um, is quite powerful. Um, so how about in yeah? So I guess we'll we'll call it a wrap then for for today. Um, you know, I found this a very very exciting. Uh, conversation just to you know, dig into your brain. Well, I actually finally get to to meet you. I feel like I see you quite a bit in the Discord channels. Um, so yeah, excited to to see uh, get to meet you. Um, 
you know, learn about what you're building um, and yeah, encourage encourage yeah. those who are watching to yeah, take a look at um, at the solutions um, and see how they can incorporate it into their own projects. Um, did you have any closing words uh, before we wrap up? Yeah, uh, thanks uh, once again for uh, this call. It's uh, really excited uh, to explain what we are uh, doing at TechSkid. Uh, I will uh, always be available to help anyone that uh, want to uh, deal with zero uh, X technology or uh, with uh, deploying uh, DexKit tools. So I'm always open for it. Uh, I always uh, like to contribute with zero X project as well uh, as, as possible. Uh, so I really thank you for this opportunity here to explain uh, all the DexKit project. Uh, hopefully, uh, people now understand more what we are or to what we are building. And uh, that's all. We really thank you for uh, this opportunity. Nice. Yeah, we're yeah, we're excited to have you on. Um, definitely shed a light on just all all the work that um, that you and your team are uh, building out. So we're really excited for that. Um, so with that, maybe I'll wrap it up um, for for today. Uh, so for our next episode, um, we will be having Trader Trader .xyz on on May 10th. So that's in two weeks. Um, so we'll be talking about the NFT SD, um, actually a project that um, that John mentioned. Um, yeah, we are using uh, them now as well. Yeah, so that that's cool to see that that synergy there. So if you're interested in um, how you can put uh, NFT swap functionality into your own application as well. Definitely check that out May 10th um, for our show with Trader. So we'll be posting information on that on our Twitter. Uh, so please, please follow us at Zero X Project. Uh, so with that, let's call it a wrap today. And thanks again, Jao, for for coming on to our show. Thanks. All right. Take care. Bye, everyone.